The Hound of Heaven by Francis Thompson Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug Perth, Western Australia I fled him down the nights and down the days I fled him down the arches of the years I fled him down the labyrinthine ways of my own mind And in the mist of tears I hid from him and under running laughter up vistaed hopes I sped, and shot, precipitated, adown titanic glooms of chasmed fears, from those strong feet that followed, followed after. But with unhurrying chase, an unperturbed pace, deliberate speed, majestic instancy, they beat, and a voice beat more instant than the feet. All things betray thee, who betrayest me. I pleaded, outlaw-wise, by many a hearted casement, curtained red, trellised with intertwining charities, for though I knew his love who followed, yet was I sore a dread, lest, having him, I must have naught beside. But if one little casement parted wide, the gust of his approach would clash it too, fear wist not to evade, as love wist to pursue. Across the margin to the world I fled, And troubled the gold gateways of the stars, Smiting for shelter on their clangored bars, Fretted to dulcet jars, And sylvan chatter the pale ports of the moon. I said to dawn, Be sudden, To eve, Be soon. With thy young sky blossoms heap me over From this tremendous lover, Float thy vague veil about me, Lest he see. I tempted all his servitors, but to find my own betrayal in their constancy, in faith to him, their fickleness to me, their traitorous trueness, and their loyal deceit. To all swift things for swiftness did I sue, clung to the whistling mane of every wind, but whether they swept, smoothly fleet, the long savannas of the blue, or whether, thunder-driven, they clanged his chariot's water heaven, Plashy with flying lightnings round the spurn of their feet. Fear wist not to evade as love wist to pursue. Still, with unhurrying chase, an unperturbed pace, Deliberate speed, majestic instancy, Came on the following feet, and a voice above there beat, Nought shelters thee who will not shelter me. I sought no more that after which I strayed in face of man or maid, but still within the little children's eyes seems something, something that replies, they at least are for me, surely for me. I turned me to them very wistfully, but just as their young eyes grew sudden fair with dawning answers there, the angel plucked them from me by the hair. Come then, ye other children, natures, share with me said I, your delicate fellowship, let me greet you lip to lip, let me twine with you caresses, wantoning, with our lady mother's vagrant tresses, banqueting, with her in her wind-walled palace, underneath her azure dais, quaffing as your taintless way is from a chalice, lucent weeping out of the day-spring. So it was done, I in the delicate fellowship was one, Drew the bolt of nature's secrecies, I knew all the swift importings on the wilful face of skies, I knew how the clouds arise, spumed of the wild sea snortings, all that's born or dies, rose and drooped with, made them shapers of mine own moods, or wailful, or divine, with them joyed, and was bereaven, I was heavy with the even, when she lit her glimmering tapers round the day's dead sanctities. I laughed in the morning's eyes, I triumphed, and I saddened with all weather. Heaven and I wept together, and its sweet tears were salt with mortal mine. Against the red throb of its sunset heart I laid my own to beat, and share commingling heat. But not by that, by that, was eased my human smart. In vain my tears were wet on heaven's great cheek, For, ah, we know not what each other says, These things and I. In sound I speak, 
their sound is but their stir they speak by silences nature poor step-dame cannot slake my drouth let her if she would owe me drop yon blue bosom veil of sky and show me the breasts of her tenderness never did any milk of hers once bless my thirsting mouth nigh and nigh draws the chase with unperturbed pace deliberate speed majestic instancy and past those noised feet a voice comes yet more fleet lo naught contents thee who contentest not me naked i wait thy love's uplifted stroke my harness piece by piece thou hast hewn from me and smitten me to my knee i am defenceless utterly i slept methinks and woke and slowly gazing find me stripped in sleep in the rash lustihood of my young powers i shook the pillaring hours and pulled my life upon me grimed with smears i stand amid the dust of the mounded years my mangled youth lies dead beneath the heap my days have crackled and gone up in smoke have puffed and burst as sun starts on a stream yea faileth now even dream the dreamer and the lute the lutinist even the linked fantasies in whose blossomy twist i swung the earth a trinket at my wrist are yielding cords of all too weak account for earth with heavy griefs so overplussed ah is thy love indeed a weed albeit an amaranthine weed suffering no flowers except its own to mount ah must designer infinite ah must thou char the wood ere thou canst limb with it my freshness spent its wavering shower i the dust and now my heart is as a broken fount wherein tear-dripping stagnate spilt down ever from the dank thoughts that shiver upon the sifal branches of my mind such is what is to be the pulp so bitter how shall taste the rind i dimly guess what time in mists confounds yet ever and anon a trumpet sounds from the hid battlements of eternity those shaken mists as space unsettle then round the half glimpsed turrets slowly wash again but not ere him whose summoneth i first have seen enwound with glooming roads purpureal cypress crowned his name i know and what his trumpet saith whether man's heart or life it be which yields thee harvest must thy harvest fields be dunged with rotten death now of that long pursuit comes on at hand the brute that voice is round me like a bursting sea and is thy earth so marred shattered in shard on shard lo all things fly thee for thou fliest me strange piteous futile thing wherefore should any set thee love apart seeing none but i makes much of naught he said and human love needs human meriting how hast thou merited of all man's clotted clay the dingiest clot alack thou knowest not how little worthy of any love thou art whom wilt thou find to love ignoble thee save me save only me all which i took from thee i did but take not for thy harms but just that thou mightst seek it in my arms all that which thy child's mistake fancies as lost i have stored for thee at home rise clasp my hand and come halts by me that footfall is my gloom after all shade of his hand outstretched caressingly ah fondest blindest weakest i am he whom thou seekest thou dravest love from thee who dravest me End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.